Hey everyone, welcome back to DIY Motto. Please subscribe. In this video, I'll cover how to install movie theater style LED lighting for your stairs or whatever you like. The LED light is recessed into the stair stringer and the wires are hidden for a super clean look. Best of all, they are smart controlled. So you can use your voice to turn them on, set for certain times, automate based on your TV turning on, or even setting a scene. Depending on your installation, you will need to plan out ahead of time where to get power from, can you fish the wires behind drywall, and if you have to open a section of wall, are you comfortable with drywall repair and repainting? For my install, I was able to get the wires run without opening any walls, but I did have two close options to get 120 volt power. How to do it? Let's get started. For starters, I picked up some plastic U-shaped track for rope lighting from our local Home Depot. I would think most hardware stores would sell it. The only option my store had comes with 3M adhesive already applied, which I did have to remove by scraping it off and using a bit of cleaner. As for the tools, you will need the following. A drill, a chisel set, hammer, rubber mallet, spade bit set, in particular a bit just smaller than the width of the track, and a vernier or scale. As for the spade bit, I used a 7 16 which is just over 11 millimeters wide. That worked out well for the track that's about 12 millimeters wide. I already pulled a section of the track out to make this easy to remove for the video. But once installed, you have to pry out the plastic channel with a screwdriver in order to remove it. I channeled an opening from the bottom of the stairs to the top, which I'll go over in a bit. As for the plastic track, the LEDs glow nicely through it, giving off diffuse light, which softens the brightness and offers that theater look. The LED strip light was simply placed inside the track, LEDs facing out of course. Due to the U-shape of the track, the LED strip stays in place without having to secure it in any way. I actually left the adhesive backing covered on the LED strip light in case it's needed for any future projects. I'm not sure if all rope light track is a standard size or not, but either way, it's best to measure the one you have. I measured across the widest part of the U-shape, as this is what will squeeze into the channeled stair stringer. Measuring about 12 millimeters, I know the channel must be smaller, say 11 to 11 and a half millimeters, so it'll be a tight fit. Now taking some measurements of the wood channel, it does vary. Anywhere from about 11 millimeters to just over 11 and a half millimeters. But since the channel is the length of the stairs, it doesn't have to be perfect. As long as it's not larger than 12 millimeters, the plastic track should have a snug fit. Cutting the channel in the stair stringer wasn't a 10 minute job as I ended up using a wood spade bit. In order to make sure my track wasn't larger than 12 millimeters, I used my next smallest size spade, which was 11 millimeters or 7 16 I wish I could have used my handheld plunge router, but because I didn't have the space due to the stair nosing, I ended up going along, drilling a series of holes with a wood spade bit. I drilled each hole as close as possible to the next in order to avoid having too much wood to remove in between. The depth is also important as it only needs to be deep enough so the plastic track can bottom out on the flat part. My track was eight millimeters deep, so I put yellow tape on the spade bit nine millimeters back from the cutting tips of the spade. Once all the holes were drilled using the spade bit, I used a chisel and hammer 
to clean out the wood between each hole and smooth out the channel wherever needed. I didn't have any other tools available or ideas to do this more efficiently, but if you have a better method, all the power to you and please share in the comments. For the wiring, I knew the wire going to the LED strip light would be fed through the stringer in order to hide the wires from being seen. This means the wire runs into the wall cavity above, behind the drywall, and I would have to fish the wire to some location where I can have a 12 volt adapter power the lights and a 120 volt receptacle close by. Fortunately, my Ratio irrigation controller was just above with a receptacle beside it. So this gave me a location to connect the power for the LED strip lights to a 12 volt adapter. The LED strip I used was left over, so I didn't have the controller and remote which came in the kit. However, out of the three wires for each RGB color, I tried different combinations to see what color looked best. I added a TP-Link smart plug onto the power adapter in order to have it smart controlled. If you have to buy an LED strip light kit, you can get them smart enabled for compatibility to whatever hub you're using. This would also give you the option to change the color easily, like what's offered with the Philips Hue strip light. As mentioned, I had a couple of options for getting power close by. The second option I had was to run the low voltage wire straight through the wall to the open side of the hallway. Maybe have the wire come through just above the trim as I have another receptacle for a lamp very close. Where and how to run the low voltage wire for the LED strip light will be very important for a clean look and install. Once I had the plan for the wiring, I just had to connect the LED strip light to the four conductor cable I ran behind the drywall. One wire for ground and three wires for each RGB color. As the plastic strip gets installed, the wires get fed into the hole at the top of the wood channel, making sure the hole is big enough to clear any electrical tape you may have added around the connections. I would also make sure to power and test the strip light before installing. Make sure to fold the wires neatly as the track gets pushed into position. Once the LED strip light is placed inside the track, you simply push the plastic track into the wood channel as you go along from the top of the stairs down to the bottom. To make sure it's flat, you can use a rubber mallet and gently tap the channel into place if needed. I had to do this in sections as each plastic track was six feet in length. Make sure the track is nice and flush. The last step is to sand the face of the plastic channel in order to get that soft diffuse look. I used some extra fine sandpaper and sanded the face of the plastic channel in one direction. This can also be done ahead of time if it's easier on a bench. And that's it! Awesome theater style lighting 
that looks professional and can be customized in any color and automation you want. For movies, we always have the lights off, and there's nothing worse than going up and down the stairs with your hands full and can't see. Nor is it any better for someone to turn the lights on while you're watching a good movie. This way, you can see easily, and the soft blue glow looks cool. I know you can buy LED lights for stairs that run on batteries and or are motion activated, but I love the look of this and no batteries to replace. Plus, you can have the smart automation to customize with. Good luck and enjoy.